Hello students, welcome in today's lecture. We are discussing our topic biological classification, which is the second topic from the NCERT syllabus and it belongs to paper first of the biology. See here, after this, we have completed the three kingdoms of the classification that is the kingdom Monera, kingdom Protista, and kingdom Fungi. And in the last lecture, we have also completed the fourth kingdom that is called as a kingdom Plantae. So, in this kingdom Plantae, the some point that we have discussed, we will revise here again. That is, this kingdom Plantae is the eukaryotic organisms. They are multicellular organisms and they are atotropic organisms because due to the presence of the chlorophyll pigment they can prepare their food that's why we call it as a heterotropic the important characteristics of it is that there are few heterotropic plants are also there and in that we have seen two insectivorous plants one is called as bladder bird and second one is called as venus flytrap and some are the parasitic plant and example is given as the cascada here we have seen that the cell wall is the part of the cell of this kingdom plantae which is outermost covering and it is made up of the component cellulose. This kingdom plantae is divided overall in the five divisions and those are the algae, bryophyta, teludophyta, gymnosperm and the angiosperma. And here we have also seen that in the life cycle of the plant the two important stages are there and one is the diploid sporophytic stage and the second one is the haploid gametophytic stage. We have also seen that these two stages of the life cycle of the plant alternate with each other that means they are found one after the another. If in any plant first stage is sporophytic then second one is the gametophytic or if the first stage is gametophytic then second one is the sporophytic so they are from one after the other another that's why they are called as this life cycle alternate with each other so here the duration of this sporophytic or gametophytic stage is variable they have different time span in the life cycle of the plant so students here we have completed the fourth kingdom that is the kingdom plantae and in today's lecture now we are going to discuss the last kingdom from the five kingdom system of the classification of the scientist Whitaker and that is the kingdom Animalia. See here, just we have seen that there are two separate chapters on this kingdom Plantae and the kingdom Animalia. But here, some few points are given here in the biological classification that we will discuss. But in detail, you have to discuss this kingdom Plantae and kingdom Animalia separately. So next one is called as the kingdom Animalia. Kingdom Animalia is the last kingdom of this classification system. So, which are the important characteristics of this kingdom Animalia? The major characteristics that you are well known for it, that is they are the eukaryotic. Okay, because from the kingdom Protista to Animalia, all the kingdoms are eukaryotic. So, they are eukaryotic, multicellular. From the kingdom fungi to kingdom animalia, all are the multicellular. So these are the eukaryotic multicellular organisms. They are second. Uh, this is the first characteristic. Second are, are they are heterotrophic, means not any one animal is able to prepare its own food. That's why it is called as heterotrophic. They directly or indirectly depends on the plant for their food. Okay. When they directly depend on the plant for their food, we call it as a herbivore. And when they indirectly depend on the plant for their food, we call it as a carnivore. So they indirectly or directly depend on the plant for their food requirement. So they are called as a heterotrophic. Third one is that they do not have cell wall because we know that the cell wall which is outermost covering of the cell is absent in the cell of the animal so they do not have the cell wall next one is that they have the internal cavity they have the internal cavity in that internal cavity the digestion of the food takes place in that internal cavity the digestion of the food takes place some Important characteristics of it, it is that they have the reserve of food. 
they have the result of food in the form of the glycogen or fat. Glycogen or fat is the form of reserve food material in this animal. Next one is that they have holozoic mode of nutrition. Holozoic mode of nutrition. Most of them show locomotion. Most of them show locomotion. That means they move from one place to the another place. Okay. And some of the characteristics is that they show population. Population is a mode of sexual reproduction. Population is a mode of sexual reproduction where male and female come together, they produce the gamete and this gamete fuse together, they form the zygote and after the zygote formation, there will be embryological development. So students here, this kingdom animal are that we have to see in detail in the next chapters of the NCRT, but here the few characteristics are given that you should know about this kingdom animalia from the biological classification and this kingdom animalia includes eukaryotic multicellular organisms their body is made up of many cells they have two nucleus that's why you call it the eukaryotic multicellular they are heterotrophic because they cannot prepare food they do not have any chlorophyll pigments they directly or indirectly depend on the plant for their food requirement if directly depend on the plant we call it as a herbivore if they indirectly depend on the plant we call it as a carnivore they do not have the cell wall which is the outermost covering is absent in the plant or animals then they have the internal cavity and in that internal cavity the process of digestion takes place because they are somewhat developed than all other four kingdoms. Then they have reserve food in the form of glycogen or fat. What is meant by reserve food? If excess food is there in the body of the animal after they reach requirement, when they the requirement will build an so that they food available ahe animal cha body madhe that food is called as an excess food and that excess food if it is not required to the body of the animal then it is converted into a glycogen or a fat and it can store in the liver or the muscles of the animal body and when it is when that animal requires the food at that time this glycogen or fat is available as a source of food that, to that animal so excess extra food in the body of animal that's converted into the glycogen or the fat. The next point is that they show holozoic mode of nutrition. What is holozoic mode of nutrition? It is type of nutrition which is found only in the body of the animal. And the holozoic mode of nutrition is that the type of nutrition in which nutrition means what? The food getting. Okay, they get the food by which sources or by which method so they take the food by the process of ingestion after ingestion that food gets digested then get it absorbed then get assimilated and a undigested food material gets thrown outside the body in the form of fecal matter that is called as a defecation all these processes are called as a nutrition and it is a type of holozoic nutrition holozoic nutrition means kai food aaj gele tonda vate that is called as ingestion body mode food gele ant ji kai internal cavity ahe in that internal cavity that food get digested that means complex form of food gets converted into the simple form of food in this internal cavity that is called as a digestion after digestion that food get absorbed in the all part of our body in the blood particularly after absorption of food that is a simple form of food which is formed from the complex form of food is called as an absorbed form after absorption that food with the help of that absorbed food the new cell gets synthesized nucleus cell organelle of the cell are formed that is called as an assimilation process and the last process is called as a defecation in which undigested fecal matter is given outside the body that is called as a defecation so such a type of process where ingestion digestion absorption assimilation and ejection takes place these are called as the holozoic mode of nutrition and such a type of nutrition is found only in the animal body most of them show the locomotion most of the animals are locomotive animals move from one part to the another or region or one region to another region with the help of their locomotory organelles some have pseudopodia uh, like structure 
if the uh, example of human being is to consider there is a legs are organ for the locomotion okay so some locomotive organs are there with, with the help of which they can locomote from one region to another region next one is the copulation is by the sexual reproduction copulation means during the sexual reproduction male and female come close together okay they produce the gametes and these gametes fuse together to form the zygote and after the zygote formation there will be development of the embryo that is called as the embryological development so see here this is about the last kingdom and that is called as the kingdom animalia in this kingdom we have seen that the important characteristics of the kingdom animalia is given here and if the question is asked from the biological classification is that write the note on kingdom animalia for the two or three marks then you have to write this much point for the kingdom animalia so students here the one important part we have completed here from the biological classification and that is the five kingdom system of the classification and in that we have studied in detail all these five kingdoms from kingdom monera to the kingdom animalia so you have to study all these five kingdoms very clearly very sincerely then and then you will get the idea about this five kingdom okay so here now we are going to start our new point from the biological classification is the viruses the virioids and the lichen see here again consider that the all the questions for the need point of view are asked from line to line of the ncert syllabus so up to this what we have discussed is you have to clearly understand it because then and then only after understanding the clearly theory of it then and then only you can solve the mcq questions for the need point of view so you should understand this theory then only you will get the answers of the different questions asked for the need exam which is generally asked in the previous yes exam now the next point that we are going to discuss is viruses virioids and the lichens so first of all, we will see from the, the viruses so next to this five kingdom system of classification the next point is called as the virus virioids and the lichens viruses virioids and lichens viruses virioids and the lichens okay so from this we will discuss first the viruses from it we will discuss first viruses in the five kingdom system of classification of scientist r h vitakar there are some organisms which are acellular organisms which body is made up of which body is not made up of a cell that we call as a cellular organisms and these are cellular organisms are the viruses lichens and virioids which are not included in this five kingdom system of classification okay only reason is that there is a body is not made up of the cell so they are called as the cellular organisms so it is not included in the five kingdom system of classification of scientist r h vitakar See here, if we consider the first organism that is the virus, then what is about the virus? Why it is not included in the five kingdom system of classification? Because it is not truly living. Because it is not truly living. That's why it is not considered. Why it is not truly living? Because here body is made up of not a cell 
and another thing is that outside the body of the host uh, these viruses acts as a non living organism outside the body of the host uh, these viruses acts as a non living organism means what that virus generally infect uh, plants animals and some of the bacteria virus generally infect the plants animals and some of the bacteria when they are not present inside the body of bacteria inside the body of plants or inside the body of animals when they are not present in this animal plant or bacteria they are present inside the environment in the form of non living okay and they are only living when they infect any of this organism okay so this is very important thing is that due to this characteristics of the virus they are not included in the fire kingdom system of classification okay here now we are going to discuss some of the important information about this virus that there are different scientists like Porcher, Ivanovsky, Bejerin, Stanley who use this important contribution regarding the viruses. So we have to see first the uh, that is the who gives the name virus to this organism. Okay, who found the different type of diseases? It's like nature and the name of the scientists are very important because they, the question is asked from it that is the name of the scientist and its important contribution so before drawing the diagram of this virus is we have to see some important point regarding the virus or some important point regarding the scientist so first the point is that the name virus the name virus was given by the scientist and the name of that scientist is Porsche. Name of that scientist is Porsche. This Porsche has given the name virus. So Porsche is given the name virus. virus meaning he state that the virus meaning the venom or the poisonous fluid so virus according to the posture meaning it is the venom or poisonous fluid there is a second scientist whose name is the Ivanovsky second scientist Ivanovsky who states that who states that tobacco mosaic disease of a plant is due to virus he states that the tobacco mosaic disease tobacco mosaic disease of plant is due to the virus tobacco in marathi we call it as tambaku okay on the leaves of the tobacco plant there are the structures like this here if this is the leaves of the tobacco then you will find such a type of the structures or holes are formed on that leaves and that structure is looks like the Tobacco uh, looks like the mosaic pattern. Mosaic pattern is a character of her shed. The first shed is a tip kit of castle baga. The certificate of castle is a structure that is a pattern of the tambakuja and tamu is now put in a tobacco mosaic. This is mosaic is a pattern and after types of pattern of the pattern of the case, which is called the tobacco mosaic. This is and it is found generally on the tobacco plant. That's why name is given as a tobacco mosaic. This is so Ivanovsky first found that the disease on the plant of the tobacco that is the name it is given as the tobacco mosaic disease and this disease was only due to the <coughs> microorganism and that is of the virus is first given by the scientist this Ivanovsky. Then there is a third scientist whose name is Pedrick. There 
is first uh, uh, there is third scientist whose name is Bejering. This Bejering scientist uh, states that this Bejering scientist uh, states that if the extract of the tobacco plant, if the extract of the tobacco plant is injected into the healthy plant, then healthy plant automatically get infection of the viruses. Then healthy plant get automatically infection of the viruses. And this was first shown by the scientist Bejering. So what is the contribution of the Bejering? Bejering states that if the extract of the infected tobacco plant get injected into the healthy plant, then that healthy plant get infection of that viruses, that healthy plant get infection of that viruses. And he says that the fluid which is infected or the fluid which is transferred into the healthy plant from the tobacco plant and that fluid he is given the name Quantagium Vivum Fluidum. See here. Quantagium Vivum Fluidum is the name of the fluid which is given by scientist Bejering to the virus. Which virus? The virus which are transformed from the extract of the tobacco mosaic plant to the healthy plant. And the name of that fluid is given by the scientist Bejering. Then the next scientist, the name of that scientist is Stanley. Who state that virus can be crystallized they are present in the crystallized form so then they state that virus are in the form of crystallized form Protein. Viruses are in the form of crystal outside the body of the host from the body of the host. Means if they are not present in the body of host, when they are present outside the body of host, they are in the form of the crystal and they are made up of the proteins. So these viruses are very smaller than the bacteria. They are very microscopic than the bacteria and that's why they can even pass through the bacteria through filter. So they can pass through the bacteria through filter. They are very small, that's why they can pass through the filter. From that filter, bacteria cannot pass, but the viruses can pass from that filter. That is called as the viruses are very small. Then the bacteria, they can pass through the bacteria through filter. Okay, so students, the important things are here. We have written on the board and this is very important because for me point of view, the question is asked uh, and there are about four scientists are involved for the discovery of the viruses, Porsher, Ivanovsky, Bejering and the Stanley. The question is asked uh, about their contribution so you should know the virus name is given by the scientist uh, Porsher. Virus name is given by the scientist Porsher and the meaning of the virus is given by scientist Porsher and that is called as venom or the poisonous fluid. The question may be asked that who first said that the virus is the venom or the poisonous fluid? Then the answer is of the scientist Porsher. Second thing is that Ivanovsky is another scientist who first say that the tobacco mosaic disease of the plant is due to virus. Tobacco mosaic disease of the plant is due to virus. It was proved first by the scientist Ivanovsky. Then the Bejering is the third scientist who first isolated the extract of the tobacco mosaic plant which is the infected plant of the virus and he injected that infected fluid of the tobacco mosaic plant into the healthy plant and he found that healthy plant gave immediately infection of the virus and he first uh, 
fall that fluid which it transport from the infected plant to the healthy plant and name of that fluid is called as contagium vivum fluidum name of that fluid is contagium vivum fluidum so contagium vivum fluidum is the fluid which is due to which is due to this virus so if the question is asked that is contagium vivum fluidum is a term given to the fluid of the infected virus then that is the answer of that scientist is the pejerin and at last stenley is the another scientist who firstly state that virus are formed in the crystal form outside the body of the host and the crystal body of the virus is made up of the protein so again students see here what we have written on the board about the information of the scientist where you can see that there are about four scientist who made their contribution in the discovery of the viruses students see here we will draw first the two diagrams which will state that how the structure of the virus can be observed under the electron microscope then we will see the in detail the information of this virus so first we will see the two diagrams by which we can understand the structure of virus and out of it one is of the tobacco mosaic viral diagram and second one is of the bacteriophage that means the virus which infect the bacteria so see here one diagram that we are going to sketch here is of the tobacco mosaic virus is of the tobacco mosaic virus in ncert this diagram is given to you okay this is the rna We are not sketching it very clearly because it will take more time. That's why only see the idea of how the structure of virus is is there. See here, this is a rough diagram because we are not the. Enough time to draw the diagram in this lecture. It will consume more time, so we will draw first the outline of this mosaic virus. Here, this is RNA. This one is called as. This is the diagram of the tobacco mosaic disease. What is the tobacco mosaic virus? Tobacco mosaic virus. Okay. Now we will see the second diagram which explains the structure of the bacterial phase. That means the virus which infects the bacteria. So see here. is polyhedral structure this is structure of the virus again see here we are drawing the rough sketch of this bacterial phase because you should know the what is the structure of this bacterial phase The virus. This is called as a tail fibers. Okay. 
okay and the name of the diagram is bacterium phase okay students here the two diagrams of viruses are there see here viruses are very very microscopic they are microscopic than the bacteria that's why we call it as ultra microscopic they cannot be observed under the light microscope to observe the virus we have to use the electron microscope and under the electron microscope you can see the structure of this tobacco mosaic virus and the structure of this bacterial phase okay so these are the two diagram these diagrams can be asked for the kd exam that is to sketch the diagram of the bacterial phase or to sketch the diagram of the tobacco mosaic virus okay so this is about the two diagrams that explain the structure of the virus now we will see the next point from the virus that is how the virus body is made up of which type of the genetic material is present in the virus then next is the which type of diseases are formed in the plant and animal due to this virus so here we have completed the diagrammatic part of the virus now we will see the next point that is the virus body then here we have to see that here we have to see that the body of this virus that is the body of this virus is consist of different parts okay that is what here we have to see that this virus are the obligate parasite this virus are the obligate parasite and you know the meaning of the obligate parasite means virus cannot complete its life cycle without the body of the host then whatever it may be host whether it is plant animal or the bacteria virus infect that organism and completes its life cycle in the body of the host itself that's why it is called as the obligate parasite that's why it is called as the obligate parasite so here we have to see that this virus which are obligate parasite their body is in the form of crystal and it is made up of the protein molecule it is made up of the protein molecule that we have seen now the genetic material genetic material in this viruses are either dna or rna genetic material in the viruses is either dna or the rna okay but not both huh? in any virus you do not form the dna as well as rna at a time either dna or rna is a genetic material whether they have single stranded rna or they may have single stranded dna or the double stranded dna but out of this whether rna or the dna is present not both genetic materials at a time present in the virus body so it is a important point second point is that these viruses particularly we have seen the diagram of bacterial phase that means the virus which infects the bacteria this bacterial phase has genetic material This bacterial phase has genetic material in the form of double-stranded DNA. In the form of double-stranded DNA. So it is the bacterial phase which has double-stranded DNA as a genetic material. We have seen here that the body of the virus is made up of protein, and it, this protein has a subunit, and that is called as the capsule. So see here the protein which. is a important part of the body of the virus these proteins are made up of subunits 
and we may say that the protein part of the virus is called as a capsid. Protein part of the virus is called as a capsid, and this capsid is made up of smaller subunits, and these smaller subunits are called as capsules. These smaller subunits are called as capsules. Okay, so body of the virus, which is made up of protein, the protein part of virus is called as capsid, and this capsid is made up of small subunits and those small subunits are called the capsulier and this capsulier and the capsid protect the nucleic acid of the virus this capsulier and the capsid protects the nucleic acid of virus that nucleic acid whether it may be RNA or the DNA and the last part about this virus is that this virus causes various types of diseases in the body of the human being, in the body of the plant. So you should know the names of some of the viral diseases which are found in the animal body as well as in the body of the plant. So here we will see that in the body of plant or particularly in the human being, it causes the diseases like mumps. Chicken pox, also we call as a small pox. Herpes, AIDS, influenza, etc. These are the list of diseases which are due to the virus and particularly found in the human being that is mumps. Mumps मंजे ताकि कहीं गाल्स पूरे लगता है तो हम गाल बोलते हैं मतलब मरे दिमाग में चिकन पॉक्स मॉल पॉक्स इस आदत है तो इस वजह से चल रहे कि जिन फेशन ऑफ द स्किन तो इस कॉल इस कांजी या गो वाला सब मंजे ना मतलब चिकन पॉक्स मॉल पॉक्स हर प्लेस में ना मरे दिमाग में इस नॉट देयर एज दिस इज ऑल ऑफ यू नो दैट and the influenza that is a type of the flu so these are the diseases of the virus particularly found in the body of the human being if we see the plants then in the plants the various types of the viral diseases can be observed and these are in the form of the first reason that is given in the, our book is the mosaic formation first symptom is mosaic formation that we have seen that it is majoritarily found in the tobacco plant that is a, there is a hole on the leaves of that plant we call as a mosaic formation then second one is called as a leaf rolling and curling the plant who has the infection of the virus they shows लीप रोलिंग डेट रोल रोल मेंस अगर हम इस तरह से पति से रोल को रखा तो बस आप मेरा लीप असर राउ रोल धरे ले पाया में तो अन्य कर्ल धरे ले पाया में तो लीप्स आर नॉट स्ट्रेट बिकॉज़ इन द नॉर्मल प्लान वी सी डेट द लीव्स आर स्ट्रेट एंड दे गेट एक्सपोज्ड टू द लाइट फॉर द फोटोसिंथेसिस बट द डिसीज Third is that they show the symptoms like yellowing and vein clearing. Yellowing and vein clearing. Four symptoms is dorsi. And fifth symptom is the stunted growth. And fifth symptom is the stunted growth. See here, the symptoms of the plants are given, which is due to these viruses. So, in the human being, the list of diseases due to the virus we have seen. See here, students. Not much diseases are found. There are a lot of diseases which are due to the viruses, but some are given here. You should know that the now we are so uh, we are see that there is a coronavirus is responsible for the disease COVID-19. Okay, and that's why we are suffering from that disease. We are in the lockdown period, and this is also an example of the virus. 
it's here. Another example is that the common cold, namely after the surgery will take, is also a viral infection. So not only this disease are responsible for virus, there are a number of diseases which are due to the virus. Now, in the plant also, there are a number of symptoms you can find due to the viruses. And see here, the list of symptoms in the plants are given. Here, they have shown that mosaic form of the plant is due to the viral infection. And mosaic form is the dots are present on the leaves. Then second one is the leaf rolling or the curling. Sapatica rolls are curling, purna pane, roll out infection. Yellowing and vein clearing means Pana Made, Apapus, Chlorophyll pigment coming with the Panasa color, he will do yellow change. And yellowing of leaves with the clearing of the veins, Manjakai, Leap Made, the center of the veins is that their veins are not showing properly or not they are. Uh, appearing on the leaves properly, they are indistinct. You also have veins disappear. That is called as a clearing of the veins. Dolphin manjikai, the plant who has the infection of the virus. The plant who has the infection of the virus, they cannot show their proper wood. They cannot show their proper wood. Is a dolphin. Dolphin manjikai, the plant which is wide wood, and the shorter at the shorter at the shorter little plant, the shorter plant is the wide little plant. Like that. Dwarf plant and dwarf is a mechanism. It is due to this virus. And the next one is stunted growth. Stunted growth is related to this dwarf mechanism. That means when growth is not proper, we call it as a dwarf But not only the length of that plant is dwarf, but also there is a improper growth of the various organs of the plant. That is the leaves, root, stem, and a very internal part of the plant, and that is called as the so these are the important point, point that we have discussed from the viruses. So students here, in today's lecture, we have seen that these viruses are the obligate parasite outside the body of host. They are acts as a non-living organism, but when they enter the host body, they act as a living organism. We have seen that the genetic material of the viruses is either DNA or the RNA. Their body is made up of protein. Protein part of virus is called as capsid which is made up of small subunits called as capsomere. This protects the nucleic acid of the virus. Viruses are have the various contribution of the scientist in discovery of viruses in that the name of scientists are Foster, Ivanovsky, Bejirin, Stanley. We have seen their contribution and in last we have seen diseases particularly in the human being are due to the virus infection. They are mums, chicken pox, smallpox, herpes, AIDS, influenza, while in the plant various type of symptoms are mosaic pattern, then rolling and curling of the leaves, yellowing and clearing of the vein, dolphinase, stunted road, these are the examples of the symptoms of the plant. So here students, we have completed the most important part that is the virus and which is not included in the five kingdom system of classification. For our next lecture, we will discuss what is meant by viroids, lichens, and one more important point that is called as the prion. So see here, up to this, read it very clearly. In today's lecture, I am going to give you the notes of this topic. So some notes will be given to you with this video. You also study the notes, write that notes in your notebook and study carefully. Thank you.